Good morning year four. This is my hints and tips for the week four lesson one interpret charts. Um, I hope you've had a lovely bank holiday weekend and enjoyed the enjoyed the sunny weather and did something to celebrate and learn about VE Day. Okay, so um, make sure you've got your whiteboard pen and a uh, whiteboard ready um, and we can crack on. Okay, so I think the uh, you're going to find the interpret chart works um, quite easy. They're pictograms, but where people make mistakes is they don't read the information. Okay, and it's so important to go all through and read all of the information before you answer the questions, okay? So with this one, the pictogram shows the number of ice creams sold in a shop. It's got the ice cream flavors listed, vanilla chocolate, strawberry, and mint chocolate, and the number of ice creams sold, okay? And then the actual key here, and this is what you need to pay really close attention to is it's a they call it a pictogram okay so each picture has a value and for each ice cream that's drawn that represents two ice creams that were sold okay and that's why people get caught out all right so Let's uh, have a look. Um, how many vanilla ice creams were sold? Okay, so obviously you need to come along to the vanilla and work that out. And um, you can work it out from, from going through there. The last, uh, the last one. It says part E, seven mint chocolate chip ice creams were sold. Complete the pictogram to show this. So you've got to draw um, using the key. Okay, so if we just have a look here, right to where we've got, we know that a whole ice cream represents two. So it tells us in the key. So if you've got half an ice cream, in the pictogram and let you work out what that half ice cream represents okay okay so here's question two um, and now we're using a bar chart the bar chart shows the number of children who went on holiday to some different countries Okay, so make sure you know what the axis of the bar chart show. All right, so this is on the y axis is the number of children, and you can see that the scale is not going up in ones but going up in twos. All right, and this will affect the way we read the chart. Okay, and the country visited. Okay, so there we've got the range of the country Spain, France, USA, UK and Italy zero. All right, so uh, it says complete the table using the information in the bar chart. So here we've got the countries down the side and the number of children visiting. So they just want you to actually write the number of children now. If to make sure that you are really accurate when you read your graph, you read your bar chart, is calm and use a ruler and then so that you can actually use line up with the side of the bar chart to make sure that you read it accurately. Because, for example, with the USA, it is actually between 
zero and two right and here if we come here right this is the UK right the number of people who went to the UK is between between 10 and 12 so you've got to think what number is halfway between 10 and 12 all right okay and then it wants you to display the same information in a pictogram but it wants you to use this key remember I said you've got to make sure you look at all the information so the key for this is a circle blue circle it's the same as four children all right so work through fun okay and as we go forwards um the questions are not hard there's just a lot of information involved okay so don't be put off by the fact that there's a lot a lot of kind of counters um, there and it looks like it, it looks really complex because it's not at all okay so uh, it says um, which chart best represents the picture okay so here you've got if you think of them as counters okay work systematically okay find the number of pink counters okay and the reason I'm going for pink and yellow is that's the fewest counters okay you can see there's only two yellow ones all right what does we think what's it going up in okay all right so there's that many that many okay and pink ones one two three four five six okay so you can sort out already uh just by looking at the fewest counters um i can see which chart represents the number of counters okay right same thing again just loads of information looks really horrible but if we work our way systematically through okay we'll be able to sort the problem out right it says use the clues to label the bar chart the number of Huddersfield town supporters is half the number of Halifax town supporters most people support Halifax Town. More people support Manchester United than Leeds United. There is one less supporter of Bradford City than Halifax Town. Okay, right, and you need to use the information from this graph. Right, so the most important thing is not to panic. Okay, so here we have the number of supporters going up the side. Right, and the missing names of the football teams now you will be able to uh, work out I suggest that you write the value of the bar to help you okay so this bar is actually going up in ones which makes it really easy so that bar is worth three okay that bar is worth six. All right, here comes my ruler, because the further they get away from the axis, the more likely you are to make a mistake. All right, so that one's worth four. Oh, that one's worth eight. And you can finish off, okay? And then you'll be able to go through systematically and work out which, which, football club is represented by each bar and last quick hint tip for today again work systematically read all of the information and then you won't make mistakes okay
Four classes of children were asked what their favourite animals are. Match the tables. Oh, sorry, it's lost its focus. Match the tables to the charts. Okay, so we can see we've got class A. Here's a chart. So it doesn't necessarily show that information. Okay, you've got to work out which table goes with which chart. All right, class B. Okay, have a look and see what do you think. Here we've got that key, a square represents four children. It's the same as four children. So if you have a shape like this, where a quarter has been taken away, what will that shape represent? Mm. The big square would be made up of four small squares. It's a quarter. So you would have one, two, three. Three of the quarters. So this shape must represent three children. Okay. All right. Let's have a look quickly. Oh, it's going up. This axis is going up in fives, but none of these columns actually get to five, so they've all got to be less than five. Okay, and it's definitely a time when I'm going to be bringing out my ruler to think, right, I think that first one, okay, is there. All right, actually, just that one goes there. Okay, so I've got to make some decisions, okay, because these are not numbered for you, alright, so I'm going to leave you to think about what you think the value of those lines are, okay, alright, and to finish the last one, this <laughs> pictogram, that box again the whole box is worth four children okay right so there we can see you've got half of it so if a whole is worth four what would a half be worth okay just works systematically you'll be amazed how easy it is all right and that's our hints and tips for today have fun